Hey folks, welcome back to Bird School, How to Full Boyfriend. Uh, we are just, uh, looks like we're just wrapping up summer vacation here. And uh, just in case you've forgotten, uh, we have gone, we're the only human student at a school for birds. We're out on summer vacation right now. We're at our part-time summer job at the Bird Cafe. So one more week till the end of August. I guess my summer job is over. I'll miss this place. And for some unknown reason, they're playing Christmas music in the middle of August. So <clears throat> whatever. Thank you for everything, Miss Sarah. It's been a pleasure. This is my boss. This is my bird boss. My uh, parakeet bird boss. Yeah. Likewise, thank you for everything, Mr. Arishihara. I think I'll be back here sometime as a customer, even though I'm not a bird. Y'all retiring early? Yes, uh, here's the uh, Kansai budgie here. Miss Sarah is a student and so must return to her studies with the turning of the leaves. How poetic. I haven't even finished half my summer homework. Oh, shit. <laughs> Doing the last half in one week? I reckon you'll do just fine. Oh, shit. Gonna feel real lonely around here without you, Sarah. At least Kenzaburo ain't going anywhere. Naturally not. Rabu sips from his cup. A drinky bird. I think after working here for a month, I can safely say that he accounts for the majority of the cafe's business. Yeah, he comes in every day. Every birdie who comes here probably thinks of it as an oasis in the city, an island of soothing parakeet in the sea of urban life. Hmm, <laughs> soothing parakeet. It's kind of a pity that so few people come in. Oh? Oh, welcome! Azami, you came! Oh, Azami, let me, uh, folks, holy shit, let me tell y'all about Azami, okay? Azami is so far the only girl bird that I've met, and she is just cool as hell. Holy shit, she helped me beat the shit out of a bunch of punk pigeons. She gave me a ride home on her scooter. She's awesome, I love her. Anyway, can't exactly refuse an invitation from my sweet little protege now, can I? <gasps> when do I become your protege? Okay, then. Yay! Have a seat, please. Oh, Azami. Azami, is that you? Uh-oh. Do we have history here? <gasps> Her expression suddenly hardens. It feels like the cafe is going to burst. It feels like one of those scenes where the retired cop finally faces down the mob boss just before the bullets start flying. Ha! Oh, snap. Let me get under a table here. Do you know each other? Stupid question of the year. Holy crap. You might say that. You disappear one day and then turn up sipping tea in a place like this? Wait. Left us all behind, have you? Azami, I... How do you think I felt these past six months? Oh, shit. She looks ready to fly at him any moment. Um, Azami... I don't know what's happened between you two, but Mr. Rabu is a nice man now. He drives cars and gives out candy. Please forgive him. Stay out of this, kid. <gasps> it doesn't concern you. Oh, shit. <gasps> what happened to Mr. Rabu? I've never seen her this mad. Since when are you calling yourself Rabu? Oh, boy. Up oh, here we go. Blaster. I remember your sexy raptor as <laughs> Yep, there they are. See, there's those sexy raptorous budgie eyes. Oh my god. He used to be a living legend, kid. The leader of the toughest bikers around. Back then, there wasn't a bird on the night roads who didn't know the name of Hosokawa Blaster. Oh shit. Carve it into your souls. When we stand together, ain't no birdie gonna hold us back. I was young then. Every one of us hell's birdies would have followed you to the ends of the earth. 
and we all knew we would have gotten there without a single <laughs> traffic violation. <laughs> yeah, did I did I not mention that Azami drives like two miles an hour? Since when do biker gangs obey traffic laws? You don't get it, kid. You're still a rookie. You can ride with the law. What? When you ride, you ride on the inside. You were pretty famous for your strong ideals. Riding with the soul as wild as any other gang, but never breaking the law. You were my hero. But a hero doesn't run away, and you did. As soon as I confessed to you, you were gone. Oh, Rabu, you dick. Done with the gang tales, on to the love story. Azami, I can tell. I've hurt you. I'm sorry. But... Tension crackles in the air. Only Mr. Arishihara remains exactly as he was when it all started. Slowly polishing glasses behind the counter. I wonder if he's related to Brewster from Animal Crossing. So Mr. Rabu used to lead a biker gang and his real, fake, name is Hosokawa Blaster. This entire situation seems entirely out of place here. Wait, haven't I seen the name Blaster somewhere before? <gasps> oh yeah, Azami Scooter. Will you listen to me, Azami? It's a little late for that. Six months of tea and cake and you look like Mr. Fava Bean. What? Mr. Fava Bean? This... Um... It, it fits so well. So that's a fava bean, is it? Okay. I don't like fat men. All my love for you burned up long ago. Azami subjects Mr. Fava Bean to a harrowing tirade over his new physique. He doesn't look fat to me. He, I mean, he looks like a perfectly normal budgie. At this rate, Mr. Fava Bean won't be able to get a word in edgewise. Has she really stopped loving Mr. Fava Bean? I should bring up. Oh god. Yes, let's make it worse. Azami's scooter. Azami, I don't think you've forgotten Mr. Fava Bean. What's all this, Sarah? I think you think about him all the time, even now. What are you talking about, kid? I know it! <gasps> Your scooter right outside is emblazoned with his name! I saw it when we first met. Writing his name right on her vehicle like that. She loves him. I'm sure of it. You still like Mr. Fava Bean, right, Azami? Uh, Sarah? My name isn't... <laughs> I saw it with my own two eyes. I don't give a single fuck. When you gave me a ride home and a lecture on traffic laws. You're pretty sharp for a human, kid. She's right. I haven't forgotten you. What a sad story. You left without even saying no, and I'm still chasing your shadow. Azami, I... Trying to sympathize with me? No thanks, I've had enough of that. You threw me away, and there's nothing that can change that. No, Azami, listen to me. I never threw you away. I... I didn't know if I could settle down with you. <gasps> I was an outcast. I was a hero on the Midnight Roads, but would I be a good father? Can they even, um, a, a, a sparrow and a budgie, can, can they, can, can they, um, make eggs? I, ha, bird, pe bird side of Tumblr, um, bird people weigh in on this, please. Think about it. Any guy will panic a little when the girl he likes confesses like that. Yes, but is the hero of the Midnight Riders really supposed to be that timid? I sat down and I thought I had to go straight. I couldn't have made you happy like that. You, I'm sorry I left you behind. I was planning to come back to you when I'd save money, but that wasn't good either. Oh, I just got a trading card. Thank you, Steam. Maybe this is destiny. Like Billiken said, our souls are being tested even now. Hosokawa Blaster, your eyes look like they did back then. Oh, shit. Azami, enough girl talk. Marry me. Of course. Oh my god. I just witnessed two birds getting engaged.
Wait, wait, no, it's not over yet. Stop the credits. I, that's, I, my thoughts exactly. What the hell, man? This is supposed to be the story of my romance, not theirs. Who did that? Who started the ending scene there? Jeez. That was kind of amazing, Mr. Rishihara. Yes, a little excitement here and there is not a bad thing. Such things just make our lives richer. And back to the premature Christmas music, are we? I wonder if my life is richer now. Well, I just watched two birds get engaged, so yeah. No doubt it is. Well then, a few more hours until we close, Miss Sarah. Yes, sir. <sighs> Those who want to see others. Those who want to be seen. The soothing mecca for all such people. Torimi Cafe, Poco's Forest. Bird flavored ice cream. Budgie something. Tea next to chattering birds. Curry rice to die for. Address, Pokonomori Spice Building, 3214, Shironuchi Dori, Nada, Kobe, Japan. Okay, um... I'm gonna, I'm gonna remember this. I'm gonna remember this website. Um, yeah, we gotta, we gotta check this out later. Right in the middle of Kobe, just a ways, little ways from Osaka. And if you still haven't had your fill of ABN company, the zoo is just around the corner. Birds are in the zoo. The excellent, fantastic Torimi Cafe. Am I doing a commercial here? What the hell? The birds are waiting here for you and the one human. As of September 2011, please check the website for more recent information. I shall be waiting here in my birdcage for you. 1900 Parakeet. Nope, that, that was an ending. That was an ending. Number 12, carve it into your soul, kid. Love Blaster. <laughs> I said the game isn't over yet. Achievement unlocked. Carve it into your soul, kid. Ah, I knew I should have gotten up when I first woke up. I slept way too late. School starts today, right? I'm gonna be late. I'm gonna be late for bird school. Oh, hello, Bellum. Sir, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I overslept. Overslept? Ah, my homework. I forgot to bring my homework. Aren't you getting a little bit ahead of yourself, Bellum? Huh? What's the number in the top left-hand corner say? Uh, 8.30? Oh, You're just a little bit early. Wah! Though since you're here, could you lend me a hand for a bit, Bellum? Oh yes, Sensei! <laughs> lend you a hand? I was about to start grading the freshman's exams and I thought maybe you could help if you don't have something else. Of course, you have a test in September, so if you want to go and study in the library... Um... I should go study. Um, I have not been doing well in uh, my schoolwork. The library should be open now. I think I'll go study. Um, I'm sorry, sir, but I'm not sure I've prepared enough for my tests. I'd like to go study if it's all right. Of course, work hard, okay? I don't want to disappoint him again. There are already a number of students working in the library. Looks like mostly third years. They probably all decided on their colleges and careers already. Will I be that frantic this time next year, I wonder? Huh? Nageki is here, too, leaning against a bookshelf in a far corner. Nageki! Miss Bellum, did you need something? Why are you over here? There are still plenty of seats open. You should sit down. I don't mind standing. You look like you mind. You don't like being near other birds, is that it? He nods. Oh, he's shy. Okay, actually, I, I'm going to confess here. I've, I've seen, you know, way back in the day, enough Hot and Full Boyfriend spoilers. I've brain dumped most of them. So most of this is still fresh and new to me. But uh, I do know about Nageki. Um, if you have not played the game, if you haven't gotten to that point, I'm not going to say what I know about Nageki. But I know about Nageki, which is why I haven't really been going his route, because I've been trying to go with stuff I already, I didn't already know. Anyway, they'll just, they'll just ignore me anyway, whether or not I go near. Nageki, are you being bullied? 
Paranoid? I'm gonna take the uh, sympathetic route. Hmm. He falls silent. If there's something wrong, I'd like to help. I don't think I can help him. Um, good morning, everyone. I hope you had fun over the summer. Oh, loads of fun. Cool. Oko-san is always having fun. Yep, yep. Sorry I stole your job, Ryota. What is this fun? Oh, I'm sorry. Is fun beneath you? Excuse me, princess. Once summer's over, time starts slipping by faster than ever. Try to stay focused. And uh, Kazuaki is kind of a narcoleptic. Yeah, he, he falls asleep. Focus, sir! Focus! Second term! Yay! Oh, who the hell is that? Huh? Is that... A student ID? Whose is it? Someone from 2-2? Not a name I recognize. Should I go find their classroom? They might have already gone home, though. Well, any teacher, teacher will do, right? Sir? <coughs> Sir! Oh! Hello, Sarah. Did you forget to turn in your homework? I found someone's ID card, sir. It's someone from 2-2. I thought I should take it here. Oh, thank you, Sarah. I can take care of it. Huh? What is it? Nothing, just you did the find this today, right, Bellum? Yes, in the corridor just outside. This student has been absent since the middle of June. How strange. So then, was the card lying there all summer? Nobody noticed it? It's awfully clean, though. Shouldn't it at least be dusty? Anyway, I'll take care of it. Thank you, Bellum. Weird. Okay. It is a mystery. Okay, folks, uh, we are on an elective day now, so I am going to take a break and save, and I will see you next time at Bird School, second term. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.